Hi guys, this is a quick look at Flex OS, which is based on Cyanogen mods, Slim ROMs, and other popular ROMs. It's for uh, Android version 5.1.1. Really fast, really smooth. I don't know about battery life, I just installed it 2 hours ago or so. So, this is a quick look at Flex OS. Jumping to the settings, uh, you will be familiar with this settings as it's based on Cyanogen mod and on Stock ROM, which is really unique for the Xperia L. I also said it was 5.1.1 version. Let's see the easter egg of Lollipop. Yep, it's here. I might record this 3 or so. I'll just go to the settings. Uh, one thing I like about this ROM is that it really shows you the added features and you don't have to dig in the settings and just uh, find what are the uh, set edit features. It's really, uh, it's really good. I don't do not have to spend some time. There, they are just the sign gemos, so I don't uh, really want to show you this guys because it's you you already know about this. Come on, uh, the most customizable options are in these settings, which are flex control. Here you can see heads up notifications, status bar notifications, rover. Well, some of these are on sign mode too, but it really added some added some features like. In this uh, particular uh, option here, status bar, you can just uh, adjust these settings uh, on your needs. You will be uh, really pl pleasurable. It's really pleasurable to just look at these uh, options here. Really, it's a good choice for some themers here who like to customize their mobiles. I leave it on stock uh, as it is. Uh, it also supports heads up notifications. Uh, in this particular settings, you will be, um, you will see this touch outside behavior. So the notification won't go uh, when the button is pressed. For some timeout, uh, I like to set it on four seconds. Some not disturb and blacklist options here, and the best of this best is animation control. If you want some uh, custom animations which are very uh, large list here, go ahead and uh, just customize it. Next is App Cycle Bar. You will be familiar with this, uh, it's uh, also on other ROMs too. Just tap on this little uh, place here on the corner and you will be f greeted with this app drawer. You can just swipe out, swipe in. And you can just uh, s customize which apps you want to add in this trigger. Uh, I don't like it, so I'll disable it for now. Also, Gesture Anywhere. Mm, this is pretty neat tweak. Uh, you can just add uh, some gestures like Audio Fix. If I want to trigger this Audio Fix app or any other activity, you can see there, there are many uh, options here like Chrome, uh, I just draw this C letter and I'm done. So next time when I uh, want to, why well, it's not showing, when I want to, I just uh, throw C and I'm in Chrome browser. Pretty neat tweak, but uh, I don't use it, so disable it. Next is notification drawer. This is pretty basic. Now no edit features here. You will be familiar with this on Sanger mode and other rooms, so I won't talk about it. Uh, next thing I want to show you guys is performance. Uh, it doesn't have the edit features on like on Euphoria, which I was talking in the previous video. Uh, definitely check it out too because it has this really good. Uh, I like about it. It's a, it has a good interface. You can just uh, see the stats of repressor and uh, like overclock and underclock your device. This ROM doesn't have it, but I'm sure it will be added in uh, other future updates. And overall, this ROM is pretty fast, smooth. And uh, let's go to s apps. Well, I said about it that it doesn't have a browser, so I installed Chrome browser and the uh, screen recorder pro and subway surf 
Other than that, these are the stock apps which come with this ROM. So, no surprises here. These are very basic apps. Uh, and one thing I uh, noticed about this, uh, the f on the first boot the icons were very small and on the second boot it, this icons got bigger. I don't know why because uh, it's also on other ROMs too. So the first uh, uh, app is Audio FX. Uh, I don't think it's really uh, good, uh, just I don't use it so maybe you wanna use it. Mm, but next is Calculator, Stock Calculator app, nothing uh, added here. Camera, Chrome, uh, which I installed. Uh, the uh, good thing I noticed about this ROM is the camera quality. I uh, just switched the uh, the resolution and quality. Uh, seems to be really good uh, on the first sight. Just uh, if you do this, it's really for fast, fast taking photos, and the quality is uh, normal, like not great but normal. Downloads, documents, uh, and email. FM radio doesn't work. If you don't have uh, the fixes flashed in the recovery, I'll drop the links to this too. If you want a radio, but I don't use it, so uh, I don't I not flash it. Uh, next is the Lantern app. It is not signed mode music player like uh, I didn't. I forgot this name, but. It's uh, FlexOS's own music app, which I didn't so didn't like. It's too complicated. Like if you wanna see this um, player, you just click on the ah uh, yes you you ha you have to cl uh, hold this button and then. And just swipe up. Real difficult, not uh, good, but this uh, sound quality is the same. The only difference in interface. So let's jump to messaging. It's stock messaging app. I did not notice any edit features. Maybe you will, but uh, a good messaging app. I do really like to do another rooms too. And this little app here, Omni Switch. Uh, it's the uh, it just uh, has an overlay on the corner of this uh, phone. Just swipe from uh, the right side, and you will be familiar with Omni ROM's own feature, uh, right, and it's this Omni switch. You can customize on your likes, like opacity, horizontal gravity, or other settings. R I really recommend it uh, on other ROMs too, because it's really fast and uh, convenient. So let's disable for now. Really a good feature here. ROM stats, it's added here. It's, you can enable or disable reporting. Uh, it's it's uh, convenient for developers to know your bags. And uh, when I click VF stats, uh, ah, yes, on the previous uh, boot, uh, this VF stats force closed. Uh, I just uh, realized that I do not have a browser, so it did not have this link to go to. Uh, next is the screen recorder pro course settings. Sound recorder, which is the same like on Synergy mode. Subway Surf, uh, let's just play it to see the ROM's performance. Uh, I did not uh, notice the lag here. It's just uh, normal speed, uh, nothing special and uh, uh, crazy about it. Let's just wait and play some Subway Surf. And yeah, guys, if you like this video, definitely thumbs up and subscribe for more because I'm still working on uh, other ROMs. On my free time, so I will upload the ROM reviews, some quick looks, and so on. So definitely subscribe for more. Let's just play this. Let's, I, we don't know. We don't need the sound here tap to play yeah, and yes guys this is the normal performance uh, if I set it to high performance mode like in settings it will perform much faster make uh, also I'm using a very powerful screen recorder so the performance might be a little laggy uh, so don't be surprised 
it's really good that it doesn't lag very much I'll just uh, play some one minute or so and we're good to go so guys as you can see the phone doesn't lag so much on this ROM even if I did not use the sound of the kernel if I use this kernel uh, it will be perform much faster and it's all yes the same engine is here you can customize it uh, however you like a uh, good thing about this ROM is it's based on the latest Android version really fast but takes uh, a little shorter time than on other ROMs uh, the edit features really make sense and I really don't know about battle life but I will uh, drop and update this uh, review after one month or so after I be familiar with this ROM and test every aspect of this ROM uh, for now this ROM is really recommended for me really check this out it's really it's uh, new for Xperia L so good thing is you can check and tr test for yourself I'll drop the links to this uh, ROM and also the fixes that I found from FM radio other than that really good ROM thanks for developers uh, and see you guys in the next one peace